Yes, welcome to my channel. I'm Dixon Rex. So last time we had a, a tutorial we had, or a video talking about what's a computer. We explained about a computer and we looked at a computer as an electronic device that performs text to the user. It's an electronic device. So today any electronic device it's a computer as long as it can calculate and perform calculations it's a what it's a computer so today we are going to look at what makes a computer a computer so it is it's a little bit like the like the topic we discussed about in the last tutorial so if you missed the last tutorial please click check my description so i have the links there you can check what makes a computer a computer? Its ability to perform calculations and operations and process information using its CPU. The CPU is the central processing unit, as here it's the central processing unit, the memory and the storage. In addition, a computer needs input and output devices to interact with the user. So what are the input devices and the output devices? The output, the output devices, we have the monitor, the screen, we have the printer, in the, in the input devices we have the the keyboard the mouse and also a scanner and also other other so many devices as we shall be looking through all of them so one by one so output out, output devices allows the computer to show the user results of, of these commands so when you use the output devices the output information as requested by the user then the input the they feed into the computer so that the computer catches or performs those arithmetic logic units then outputs it through the output devices that is the monitor the printer a computer also requires an operating system which is a program that coordinates the, comp the computer's resources and allows the user to interact with it so the operating system what are the operating system Operating system is a set of instructions. They are like instructions performed by the user. So and there are so many types of operating system. We have the iOS, the Windows operating system, which is the mostly used operating system all over the world, Windows operating system. So they coordinate the computer resources and allows the user to interact with the, the computer. There are also other components of a computer that are important for its operations. It's not only the operating system, it's not only the input and output devices, but also there are also some other important components of the computer that help it to perform all those, those, all those functions. First one is the computer needs the power supply to convert electrical current from a wall outlet into the computer, into the type of the power. So the wall outlet we are talking about the socket. So when you plug in the, your charger to the socket, so you will get power or electrical current. It will be converted through the power supply. So that power supply helps to regulate the amount of power or current electricity that is supposed to be used by the computer. So if your computer does not have the power supply, my friend, my brother, my sister, you may have so many different problems and unfortunately you may have a, a, a shock you may be shocked or your computer may blast away so you did the power supply so it's so important on your computer don't dare temper with it a computer also needs the motherboard of course the motherboard is where the cpu the central, the central processing unit is attached the operating system is also attached to the motherboard the printer attached to the motherboard but through the throats there are those throats on the motherboard so a motherboard is also something important which is a motherboard which is a printed circuit board that connects all the computer's components and allow them to communicate with each other so the motherboard it's like as it's had it's a mother mother you see when it a mother gives birth to each and everything yes right agree yes or no it's right so also the motherboard is where all the components of the computer all of them are connected so that they can communicate to each other and give someone information finally the computer also needs the cooling fans yeah the cooling fans they help if at all in case the cpu the central processing unit is, is getting too much 
hover is getting overheated so the cooling fan cools it to a required to the normal temperature so don't step out with the cooling fan so in this out i'm also going to practicals i'll be showing you what is the cooling fan what's the motherboard what's the which opalis thing system is it working with so i'll also be doing those hands-on scaling so if you you're interested come into the comments you can visit my channels everywhere that's so necessary give me you can share with me so we get away we can get in touch finally if you if you if you're interested in knowing the best components of a computer as we have looked a few of them but they, they, we can go deep further into it explain each and everything the best components of the computer so if you're interested in learning about those specific components in my next video i'll be talking about that so keep locked in subscribe to my channel so that whenever i drop a new video you can easily be notified and what thank you for watching me god bless you